I'm Pat Dower from the Tench Fishers and I'm going to show you how to make up uh, a really robust helicopter rig set up using a bank tackle chod bead. This rig's been really popular with some of the Tench Fishers members, works very well. So the finished rig looks like this, the top one there, as you'll see, um, several bits to it. So the chod bead itself consists of a stem, a top bead that slides onto it. There's a quick change swivel attaching your hook link and that's a free running component so it needs holding in place by some nice slim stops either side there you normally need to slide those together ready for fishing the important thing about these top and bottom uh, stops is that they are really slim so that the bead and the swivel can pass easily over them if ever you have a, a main line breakage the lower one is the same rig but just cut down so the stem is cut to about half its length and that's how quite a few people like to use it just to make everything a little bit more discreet put that to one side so the components for making up the, the uh, setup are here so here is the bank tackle chob bead and that's the stem and then the top bead which pulls off then if you can see how big the aperture is there but that's a good feature of that pass over any knots or debris on the line uh, then our slim stops to hold the thing in place on the line i've got some quarter dark matter sinkers these are medium um, there's lots of equipment from lots of the manufacturers there but the important thing is that they're they're slim these are tungsten so a bit of weight to them helps sit on the bottom nicely and then you need um, big eye swivel to touch your hook link and there's two alternatives here uh, this is a riverside riverside angling size 8 swivel lots of uh, carp suppliers do something along those lines and uh, something a little bit smaller both work well uh, this is a size 11 uh, quick change swivel from tackle bits okay to make up the setup get your line so we slide on a stop for the for the chod bead stop it moving up and down the line okay okay throw it on there so okay this grips the line nicely um, which it needs to stop the chod bead going on so uh, going up the line so then we put the top stop on You'll see the top stop just goes straight over the that so that is not hampering fish safety at all let's put the swivel on then the base stem of the bank tackle chod bead on there. so that's free sliding get those back on there so the bead pushes on onto the stem normally so it come off as easy as possible you can slide it right to the end of the stem you've got lovely free movement there and the final part of the rig is to put a second stop on and push it up the line and if you've got a tiny gap between the stops Got lovely free rotation both of the swivel and of the chod bead and that's the finished rig right just going to test the finished rig make sure the hook link will release reasonably easily in event of a main line breakage so i've had this soaking in water so it's realistic i put the hook onto the balance make sure the balance is zeroed now i'm just going to steadily increase the pull until the top stop removes Right, one ounce, two ounce, three ounce, four ounce, five ounce, six ounce. Okay, so that released at six ounce. So that's well within acceptable safe limits uh, for a fish to be able to free itself.